today I finally have a new drawing book for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting forever for another one after I did a whole bunch in a row. And then it was just completely silent, no pictures. Here they are, it took me a long time because there was a lot of pages to fill. And not only that, but they have little descriptions with them. We're not gonna read all the descriptions because a lot of them are cringe. I'll let you guys look at them, even though it's cringe. Because my handwriting's bad, so you probably won't be able to read it anyways. Hooray! <laughs> so anyways, this is the story drawing book because it has stories in it, even though I'm not gonna read it to you. <laughs> so, let's see, to the beginning. I'm not at the very first page because the first pages are full of garbage. So, <laughs> we have our first picture. If I can keep my pages from falling all over this. Clint Burton and Thor Odinson. Yeah, there's probably not any good angles for you guys to read the stories anyhow. But yeah, there's stories on them. Basically, Thor is driving Hawkeye nuts in that picture. And we have Cynthia, character of mine, with Dragonite, a miscolored Gibble, and this Gordle. These are her Pokemon. And that's Snoopy. And the picture next to it, got Thor and my character King Bizarros. Girl in a fit. Girl in a fit bit. No. <laughs> there will be no throwing the fit bits. And then I got two vampires, I miscolored her. She's supposed to have green eyes, but somehow I thought she had blue eyes. Even though I'm the one that wrote the story. She's from the new version of My Son Drac, which isn't available currently. But maybe one day in the future you guys will be able to read it. You know, the little one is Drac and the big one is Mary. And the lights behind me are going crazy. They're flickering while I'm trying to record. So if you see flashing in the background, it's because the light doesn't work. Okay. And in the next page, we have Jack Elhorn and Drake from my story, Poison Claws. They, they're from Timber Shell. Well, Jack is a, from some other place originally, but he ended up in Timber Shell. And we got Stephen Strange and Scarlet Witch. I really want to fix this camera because the angle is horrible. It's still horrible. Is it because I'm not... At the viewfinder doesn't really work properly, guys, so I don't know if this is lined up properly or not. It doesn't look like it's lined up properly, but it could be. Uh, that's the wrong hand, apparently. So... Wanda's waiting for her date, but her date is actually just her brother, Pietro. Look at that little smile. She's so happy about this. And this is Roy from A Summer of Missing Princesses. I promise you guys, I'm working on that story. I didn't abandon it. <laughs> so Roy, we point him in a difficult situation in Fairwood when he's originally from Mykano 
and he's a nice guy. And we got Blue Loki and Blue Link. And Blue Link's gonna smash Loki with the hammer. They're both very blue and hate their brothers. And Blue is gonna destroy Loki if Loki doesn't get away fast enough. Also, my handwriting's terrible. I already said that. <laughs> Thor and the Winter Soldier. I didn't do as many Marvel drawings this time around. I did most of the originals, but there is some Marvel in there. Especially Thor. There's a lot of Thor. And Thor thinks that Bucky is silly. He thinks everyone is silly. And we got a plant monster. This is probably close to what the ones in my novel look like. Legend of the Wolf Girl. They hide in the darkness and they'll grab you. And Crumpy! Guess what guys? Crump is here! She's always here when I'm doing these drawing books. She loves the drawing books. <laughs> On the next page, we have a Hylian version of my oldest character, Hondrill. Looking very confident. She's usually a hedgehog. Or a human. Inspired by Sonic, obviously. And then we got these two boys, Mungo and Fraser. I wrote Fraser McNeil, but this might not actually be Fraser McNeil, based on the hairstyle. It was supposed to be Fraser McNeil. But anyways, Mungo Hepburn, Fraser McNeil, Mungo's sneaky one, and they both want to. I don't know. <laughs> They, <laughs> they both want to have fun, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that train of thought. Anyhow, here's my character Lily, and I tried to draw her with the violin based on a weird short story I wrote once where she, for some reason, could play the violin. Despite that not being very characteristic of her. And she's calling herself the Violin Queen. Well, the violin's going to distract her from causing trouble. That's the good news. <laughs> and Dakin and Frigga. I don't like Dakin, but I draw him for some reason. But I won't draw Deadpool! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like Dakin. And here we got Fruity, the, the girl who, she's a farm girl, her name is Fruity, and she's with Boy Lightning, who is best friend's, actually boyfriend of Andrew. And Fruity needs help getting herself a boyfriend. So she's asking Boy Lightning for help, but he can't really help with that. There's nothing he can do to help. That's basically what it says here. And here's Lumber with a fairy. Lumber Smith. Wow, there's a baby touching me. <laughs> Lumber Smith and Tail from Majora's Mask. The baby just sneezed on my foot. So Lumber has seen many strange things, but he's never seen a fairy somehow. And we got wind, who can create wind currents. She's with Sailor. He must be standing on something to be that high up. Because she's really tall, he's really short, because he's just a little boy. He's five years old. And she, I don't know. She's an adult, though. And Sailor likes making friends, by the way. So... But we're not going to go into that nonsense. 
no friendship making in this journal. But there was. But we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> okay, silver gloom. Another my angels with Bentley the mule. And silver gloom. He's got crooked wings, so he can't really fly very well. He could if he absolutely needs to, but it's best not to make him. And he's Bentley, big brown mule who can talk. And crush cars. And then on the other side, we got Thor in his casual attire. There's a black shirt. And he is with his brother Loki, who looks like he just farted. He probably did. Or told a joke that Thor did not approve of. And for my story, The Legend of Zelda Burned. We have Ferrore with her burn. Have you guys uh, watched that series ever wondered what the burn looked like? That's what the burn looks like. Basically. And she's crying because it hurts. It must be Din's fault, right? Because it says Din. On the next side, we've got Two doctors, Dr. Octopus and Dr. Doom. And the lights are flickering again. They're both wearing green and they're both doctors and they're both bad guys. So they get to be together on this page. And then I got a whole bunch of Swirlix. Because Swirlix is easy to draw apparently. So we got Swirlix and Whooper. And Swirlix and Slowpoke. And Swirlix apparently is good at telling jokes and Slowpoke is very slow to understand the jokes. And we got another Pokemon here. We got Passimian and the Deku. And the Deku accidentally walked into the middle of a ball game. Don't become the ball. That's advice for Deku. And we got more Zelda characters. We got Tallow and then my original character, Cynthia. Not Tallow, this is Mallow, obviously. Tallow is the older one. Mallow is the little chubby baby who also looks like an old man. The old man baby who wanders around the village. I don't know how old he is, he just, he's bundled up like a baby, so I guess he is a baby, but then he talks like an adult. <laughs> so, yeah. Cynthia is a babysitter, by the way, as well as the ranger of Heroes Meets, where my characters gathered together similar to Avengers. <laughs> Except, there's very much less action, and... Only a tiny bit of humor, it's very boring. <laughs> yeah, I write better stuff now. And now Cynthia is with Ruto, Princess Ruto. There's also a lot of Cynthia in this journal. <laughs> Here's the Black Widow and Scarlet Witch, the female Avengers.
We got Zubat and Doe Duo. More Pokemon. I really like Pokemon in case you guys didn't know. Zubat, Doe Duo. Here's Plankone with wings in his wolf form. And there's a recurrence of Legend of the Wolf Girl. It's just temporary, he doesn't get to keep the wings. And this girl doesn't have a name. She's just a random fox girl I created for this journal. She's similar in coloration to Nine Clover, my cat boy, but she has no relation to him aside from being from the same planet. She's got orange ears. Well, kind of orangish yellow. And pale green with purple eyes. I'm not sure how well the lighting's going to work on that though. Also, the fox people are usually jerks, so hopefully she'll be all right. <laughs> and then we have Iron Man, Phil Coulson. And Balder and David Bat, my character David Bat. One of the forms of him. Did you know there's actually two different forms of David Bat? One that looks like this and one that has blonde hair. How come they look so much different? I don't know. But he's thinking about tacos, typical David Bat thing to do. He's a fun guy who likes food. And he's a vampire. And there's Waterboy and Darkstorm. Both usually gloomy characters that are actually smiling for once because they're thinking about people that make them happy. Waterboy's thinking about Lillian. And Darkstorm's thinking about her sister, Golden Cloud. And then we got Ferrari again with Drac. For some reason. They both have those little pointy ears. I still don't know why I drew them together, but I did. There's no reason for them to meet. But here they are. Because I can. And here's Balder and Hella. And Hella doesn't like anyone. Especially not for brothers. And we got Timber as a wolf with an Eevee. And apparently Timber can play doggy games with Eevee. Don't know what I was going on with that about though. <laughs> And Ijimiko, the bully from the Forgotten World, with an Octorok. They have a contest you could launch projectiles the furthest. And when Ijimiko wasn't looking, he got shot in the back by, by the Octorok. The Octorok doesn't play by the rules because it's a monster. And not a good monster either. Speaking of monsters, Peter Donovan. Muffin Brian or Peter Muffin Donovan Brian. I don't remember which order He's a wizard He started out as a rat turned himself into a human and He's very cruel and he loves little girls 
So yeah. His cousin Scotty, by the way. Scotty Hepburn. And we got Waterboy again. Holding a gray litten for some reason. I was having a little fun with the colors. I think that for 2020 I might go mostly back to regular colors. At least for a while. And so, since Litton is so hot, it's causing Fireboy to boil a little bit. So he's steaming. Uh oh. Usually, Waterboy is afraid of fire. So these two don't shouldn't really be together, but they are. I guess because Litton's adorable. And this is halfway through the book, so we have a long way to go. And we have my character. Beach water with Oshawa. Both watery. Beach is the son of Water Boy. One of the sons of Water Boy, who somehow had a whole bunch of children. <laughs> and here we have Hogan from Thor with Frigga and he's sad because Frigga fell asleep when he was trying to tell her a story and some new Pokemon well not new Pokemon anymore they were they were kind of new when I drew them they're from Oh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. <laughs> so we got Rebombi and Rockruff. Two more adorable small Pokemon. And then there's Pierce, my character Pierce, the White Wolf, terrorizing Ruto. Pierce likes to eat fish. He's not going to eat Ruto. Don't worry, guys. He's just gonna steal all her fish and eat it for himself. <laughs> After terrorizing her, because it's funny. And also, she thinks it's a white wolf -os, but it's not a wolf -os, it's a regular wolf. And for my story, Torture Troop, which is now available on Booksy. Better check it out. It's been on Inkit for a while, but nobody's been reading it. So I put it on Booksy and people are loving it. So yeah. So here's Gerald Stevens, one of the campers. And here is one of the leaders, Lionel Hartsworth. Happy fun guy. On the next side, we got Lion Beck with my character Jack with red hair for some reason because I was playing with the colors again. <laughs> so Jack usually has brown hair, not red hair. And this is Jack the first. And two more angels. We got new leaf and Crystal Snow. New Leaf doesn't trust very many people and especially not Crystal Snow or Blazing Sun. She doesn't trust him because somehow he's always able to see where he's going despite always having his eyes covered. She doesn't know how this is possible or how it doesn't irritate him. Because it irritates her alright. <laughs> And my characters, Nikki Mo, the cyborg, and Johnny Mo, they're vigilantes. And they like to save people, despite it being illegal, because they don't have the proper equipment to save people, yet they do it anyhow. And not the proper training either. And from a story that I might share eventually soon. <laughs> eventually soon. Here's Rainbow. She's from a short story I submitted to a book contest 
I didn't win, but they said that, I, that they would like to see me come back for the spring one. So I have a second chance. They liked some of the stuff that I was doing with the unique elements and plot. So, Rainbow is a black German Shepherd. She belongs to the police academy, but she ran away and met this boy named Ethan. But the police academy wants her back because you can't just take a random dog that runs into your house or that you meet on the street. If it belongs to someone else, you have to give it back to the person it belongs to. Obviously. <laughs> and next we have Violet and Crystal Snow again. Violet also does not trust Crystal Snow for the same reason. Because his eyes are covered up and yet he knows where he's going. Because Bill does not think that this is very logical. And here's one of my villains, one of my oldest villains. His name is Tom. This is the new design of him. The old design is somewhere in my room. <laughs> so Tom, bad guy with curly mustache. And this is an alec hog. They like to act out tough, but they're actually nice. But since Tom is a bad guy, he's got to watch out because alec hog might beat him up. <laughs> and then we got Lion Clover from Rosie Darlin. Lion Clover, the cat boy, accompanies Rosie Darlin on her adventure to see River Pelt. And also. Rosie thinks he's handsome. And here's Ronald Orcantrea, chained up. He's sort of dangerous, especially when he first became a wolf, so they chained him down until they could find a way to fix the situation with his aggression. That's from Legend of Wolf Girl 2, which is available on Inkit. You don't have to read book one to read book two. Because they're not that much alike. <laughs> so, next page we have Kremia and Princess Sanyak. Kremia from Majora's Mask, Princess Sanyak from my Mekano stories. All the Sanyaks look the same, so it's very easy to keep drawing her in whatever situation I need her to be in. And there's Pepper Potts. Have you guys seen my video, The Watch in the Vase? It's about Pepper. And Pepper's all by herself in this picture, because who wants to be with Pepper? Aside from Tony. Who is also not in this picture. <laughs> and here's Lil Piper. Named after her mother, Silver Piper. And she's one of the peace cats. And she has a little Spiro, which are usually aggressive. And she's a cat and is a bird, but they're getting along because peace. And this picture is really bad, probably the worst in the journal, aside from the stuff I drew a long time ago. And this is supposed to be Horwell, Professor Horwell, Instructor Horwell actually, from Skyward Sword. And he's supposed to be holding a score rupee, but I didn't have picture reference, so I just drew this weird thing and said it was a score rupee. This one I thought was funny. Ronald also babysits sometimes in my pictures, not in the stories. I don't know why. But this time he was taking care of a baby and then it changed and looked almost exactly like him. And so now he doesn't know what to do because the baby, he went to check on the baby and the baby's not a baby anymore. Wouldn't you be creeped out if you were babysitting 
And then the child suddenly looked like you? <laughs> or would you laugh and think it was funny and take pictures? <laughs> and then... I mentioned Scotty Hepburn earlier. Here's what he looked like when he was disguised as a human child. The cousin of Pete. This is from The Unknown Truth. And here we have Waterboy again, feeding water to Pierce. He's used to this nonsense because his wife slash girlfriend slash whatever is also an aggressive wolf who demands water. So he knows just give them water and they'll go away. This robot belongs to Cynthia. Well, it doesn't belong to her, but his best friend is Cynthia. This is Mega. Well, his name is Omega, but he goes by Mega. And he meets Sailor at the Heroes Meet, arranged by Cynthia. And then we got Evie with a pirate from Skyward Sword. Pirates are shy, they like to hide and blow fire at you, which is really annoying. They're cute, but annoying. Also, that's not what pirates are supposed to look like. They're supposed to have these fluffy ears, which I didn't have picture reference, so no fluffy ears. And Copper, he's a brat. He's a speedster. He likes to run around and drive the police officers nuts. And he doesn't care. He's very disrespectful to authority. But, he also saves the day. He gets the job done. So even though he's annoying, he's still a hero. And here's Luca Water, another son of Waterboy. He's Fraser Orkentria's guardian. He's more of a guardian type than the hero type. He mostly just watches out and equips heroes, rather than fighting with the heroes. And I changed the colors as well. He's supposed to have dark blue hair and the gold in the middle. Also, he's a dimensional traveler. He can travel through space, time, and dimensions. To wherever, whenever, however. He's also a shapeshifter. And from A Summer of Missing Princesses, Salima, the main hero with Princess Sanyak and Sanyak in this story in particular demands lots of attention and entertainment constantly I don't know why and then we got um, Tattle from Termina and the Triforce don't know what that's doing there so maybe she's not in Termina anymore because the Triforce is not in Termina. It's in Hyrule. Oh hey! A triangle! It's just a triangle, right? It's not a super powerful thing. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should show you that description. Because... Here's what it says. Tetel the page is kind of bent, so this is what it's going to say. At the end it says, it's a secret from everyone. And, since we had little Scotty, we got to have little Peter. So, here's what Peter looked like. Little Pete Bryan looked like. And even though he looks cute and innocent, he'll always grow up to be a vicious creep. Every single time. Especially since he was associating with the monster, one of my main villains. And then we got Mudkip and the Wasp. 
Now Ant-Man and the Wasp, Mudkip and the Wasp. Mudkip's not gonna eat the Wasp. Mudkip knows better. Don't worry. And we got Beauty the Swan. That's one of my stuffed animals, by the way. And Swellow. They're both large birds. Beauty has a long neck. And Swellow has a very square head. And I didn't color it right either because of lack of picture. I just have a little fun. And we've got Naughty Little Timber. Usually Timber is a good girl, but this is not irregular Timber. This is Timber Water. Water Boy's daughter. She can shoot water and turn into a wolf. And she likes to plot mischief with her brothers. Which I think I've drawn further in this journal. Got Shadow, Fox Girl. She's a newer character of mine. She's special because she has more than one tail. There are six tails, I think. I think that's what I wrote. Yeah, six tails. Everyone in Jebron, well, everyone who's a fox in Jebron usually goes after the people called the Lixie Ixery because they're powerful, but then they pay no attention to these multi tailed foxes, which are probably just as powerful as the Lixie Ixery. They just ignore them. And then we got Pinecone. Pinecone Smith carrying Lulu. Lulu doesn't mind being held sometimes, despite that she can talk and understand humans. Because it gets exhausting carrying around that long tail. It just gets longer as she gets older. We've got Blue Link fighting Muldorm. But it looks like Olive's. Blue Link with the hammer again. Except he's in the wrong position because he's aimed in he's aiming for the head which is armored. He needs to be hitting the tail. Because the tail is the soft squishy part. And then we got McKenna the bully with this little guy, Ryota. Ryota Water. That's another Water Boy Sons. McKenna's mean to everyone and Ryota wants to punch her in the face. Ryota's kind of a special guy because half his hair is blue and half is gold. Somehow. But then again, I don't know if that's as impressive as Luca's, which is a perfect lightning bolt shaped gold mark in between two blue sections. And I had a little trouble with this picture. I did the coloration wrong and accidentally colored sand horse's pupils brown and his iris is black so yeah because I was playing with the colors but I didn't mean to swap the pupil and iris colors this is from Zachary and the sand horse because it's Zachary and the sand horse giant horse made of sand and we got more pictures from Zachary and the sand horse right here we got Tilly who is a great companion and father figure for Zachary. He teaches Zachary many amazing things like how to use a sword. And then there's Shrinkity Dinkity, the archer wizard who is extremely thin because she doesn't eat enough. Also she's an assassin. She spends all her time trying to shoot people down. And here's a little surprise, Salima, with one of the other princesses. This is Princess Kurali. They're both from Telus. Well, Salima was born in Telus and moved to Fairwood. But Kurali is the princess of Telus. So they look very much alike. 
And we've got Mrs. Fox Zarn. This is one of Timber's teachers. She teaches English at Fairwood High. And she's very obsessed with some book about dragons. And then we got Midna from Twilight Princess with Xenia as a wolf. And Midna's like, that's not the wolf I was looking for. And here's Sanyak with bronze hair. Or metallic gold, maybe. And she's found a snow run. But yeah, Sanyak is supposed to have blonde hair, not bronze hair like that. That was just for fun. And Millie, the wolf girl with crystal snow. There's a lot of crystal snow in this journal. And Millie, she's a wolf girl. Very defiant. She's related to Lillian. Originally, when I drew, when I created Millie, she was not related to Lillian because I didn't create Lillian yet. Millie was just some wolf. And I was like, hey, let's turn her into a wolf girl. Because that's fun. And we got a little tiny Malipole. That's a mouse person riding on Lulu's head. And there are such tiny little creatures that even this baby monkey looks big. And uh, that's Stormy. Yeah. This is Stormy, one of Scotty's friends. Usually aggressive. I've got Bruce Banner and Natasha Romanoff. And we got um, Night Treasure and his sister Timber. Night Treasure Water, Timber Water. Plot and Mischief, like I said. There they are. Usually Night Treasure has black hair, but I played with the colors again. That's the excuse for why any of them look different than they're supposed to. And Andrew found Majora's Mask. And then we got Loki and Bucky. And Pierce and Wind. Pierce is pretty large, but he must still also be sitting on something. Because Wind is really tall. And we've got Pondrill and her rival, Glacier. Who's larger and stronger and faster than her somehow. You know she's extremely fast. He was created to destroy Hondro, but he just can't. Whenever he gets a chance, he stops. We've got Sailor with Xenia again. Well, not these two again, but it's these two characters, but they haven't been together yet until now. And then we got Chibi Tyson Clark. He may look sort of friendly and not harmless but he still is the regular Tyson Clark on the inside and he is dangerous and you should stay away from him at all costs. He's from Torture Troop and then I did this multiple times in this journal we got Million Wolf Frozen I was kinda having fun with the icicle I made it look like she was actually encased in the ice. 
This is based on a plot I didn't use for the actual story. I'm saving it for the cartoon. And we got Laura Skitty, who is friends with Frazier, Frazier Pucciana, who is the son of Timber Mighty Anna, who is a shiny Mighty Anna. And Laura cannot control herself. She goes crazy, runs around in circles, knocks everything over, and accidentally uses powers she does not want to use. And ends up hurting her friends, but she doesn't mean it. And then we got The Apprentice from Poison Claws. He's thinking about that bread. Mmm. He tries his best to work hard and create good bakery goods. And he messes up sometimes, but we all do. <laughs> and next we have Ocean Water, another of another of Water Boy's sons, with Tony Stark and Ocean Water as a child of Lillian, likes to pester people and he's pestering Tony. And Tony would like him to go away. And this is perhaps the strangest of all Lillians I've ever created. This one, she creates a floral scent. Sometimes. She can't control it, it just happens. And this one, we got, we got Shadowed Heart. With another Deku, Shadow Heart, the Cannon Pulley, or Dog Girl. And Steve Rogers and T'Challa. And this gorgeous Espion in a suit. This guy, his name is Zephyro. And he likes to solve mysteries and help people out, especially if a certain Leafeon is involved. And here we have a hybrid Pokemon. This is Frasier, Mighty Anna Leafeon. Dr. Frasier! He's here to give you his checkup. He's had three patients before, so he's very well experienced and won't hurt you at all. And then we have Frazier the Pucciana, this one who's younger. Frazier Pucciana, leafy on, with this zigzag goon who is wary of him for good reason, because Frazier just wants to gain lots of experience, so he'll attack any smaller Pokemon he can. And then we got Eilish, who looks like Cynthia, but she's Eilish. I forgot to draw the little point of her hair. Eilish also loves red, just like Cynthia. And she's with Crystal Snow, who has red hair. Also, Padme is scratching my foot. <laughs> and this is Prince Mew. He's a happy little dog boy. And he's the little brother of my character, oh, Epic Courage. Padme is trying to eat me. This is Padme. <laughs> She's trying to eat Chris's toe. Let's go somewhere if hungry. And what I was saying about the ice crystals. Here's another one. This time it's Lillian Mariana encased in the ice. Oh no! Because apparently Lillian is very easy to freeze. You just leave her somewhere cold and she instantly freezes. And this one is from a weird dream I had, kind of a nightmare almost. This is the radioactive timber wolf. She's huge! and vicious, and she destroys everything. And she glows a beautiful greenish color. 
This is the fault of some guy named Super Electric Juice Man, who causes trouble as well. And then we got Alama Mula, another Pokemon. And she's with Poison Thorn. That's the mother of Pebble Wolf, which is the husband of Tessie Wolf, which is the mother of Timber Wolf. I have their entire genealogy written down in my notes. I went crazy. So, here's Lila. Tina's friend. And she's kind of mean because she's not really a friend. She says mean things about Tina when Tina's not looking. And there's this guy who's from the same dream. His name is Nick. He looks like Nick Fury. He isn't Nick Fury. And he's He's sort of like Nick Fury. <laughs> He's a boss man, so yeah. And then there's Dr. Frazier again. This time he's approaching his father, Pinecone Leafeon. And Pinecone's like, oh no, please no. And then Dr. Frazier's like, come on over, it's time for a checkup. And Matt Murdock and Clint Barton. And then I got Hella and Odin. And Odin is making the white cat face. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. He's never seen her before in his life, right? This video is too long. I gotta hurry up, guys. This is Thistle, another of Scotty's friends, and he's with the Shuckle. And then there's David Bat as a Hylian with this beautiful golden Loftwing. And this fox is named Baito. And he's hanging out with Alpha Stone. Which is a wolf. And then we got Boy Lightning. And he's like, <gasps> He's another of my old characters. And more Swirlix! This time Swirlix has feet. Swirlix and Fan P. And this is what Corinia looked like when she was little. You know from if you've watched my cartoon series, Tales from Fairwood, she's in that cartoon. I think it was like episode three. Here's Jing Moo and a Poliwag. More cute Pokemon. And then we got this guy again. With the Rollet. Water Boys Kid. And here's Rufus. I didn't finish writing his story. That's from Berkeley and Bentley 2. There's a sequel, guys. I just didn't finish writing it. And Wanda Maximoff. Very red. Just like how Loki and Blue Link are very blue. And then my character, Iona. And Bryn. They both live near the woods and they're going to look at birds together. 
they're gonna have a fun time and maybe they'll have more fun times some other day as well. Also, yeah, Iona is a bald girl. And this is a big Drampa with little tiny Cynthia. And Drampa is going to protect Cynthia from all the bullies by burning down all their houses like a good dragon. And then I got Chibi Frank Hubertson to go with the Chibi Tyson Clark. Now Frank is actually a friendly guy so it's okay to approach this one. You don't have to run from this guy. He's one of the campers, Camp, San Camp Satisfactory. He's buddies with Ryan Pete and Gerald Stevens. Ijimi Go is mean to everybody, even the gorgeous Poison Thorn. And then we got Mari from the Unknown Truth with Faye the Sabertooth cat girl. They both love daisies. And even though Faye is a Sabertooth cat, she's friendly. She won't kill anyone. But then again, Mari trusts everyone, seeing as she trusts Scotty. And it's Violet! Violet, of course. And she's with Cynthia. And Violet is not allowed to join the Heroes Meets because Violet is not technically a hero. She's the protagonist, but she's not a hero. She doesn't do anything heroic. And so Cynthia can't let her into the club. And then Jamie McNeil with a Torchic. Jamie loves fire and Torchic's a fire type and so you'll get to see lots of fire. And then we got Little Hounder, the Beagle Basset Hound with Shadowed Heart who's probably German Shepherd Hybrid. She's got stripes. Shadowed Heart is that dog girl I showed you guys earlier. As, an, as the head knight of the castle. She's usually very busy, but she'll take time to play as the little guy. And then we've got Hawkeye with an Alolan Vulpix. Tiny little Vulpix. And then there's Branch from the Lovenick tribe with a, um, a swine up that she found in the woods for some reason despite swine up being an ice type and the woods are pretty warm usually well maybe she found in the winter I don't know and then this is one of my new pictures I drew this on Christmas Eve this is Peter Parker and Ant-Man We're getting close to the end now. Oh, by the way, today's New Year's Eve. This is the last video I'm going to do for the year. Can you, believe, can you believe it? You have to wait until next year to see more videos from me. <laughs> and here is Emerald of the Forest with a Meryl that he found in the woods and I don't know why the mirror was so huge and we've got Sheik and Sam Sheik is from Ocarina of Time and Sam is one of my beefs he's from The Search he's bothering Sheik and probably stole all of the Deku Nuts so now she cannot escape. Okay. 
and Tony Stark showing off his Iron Man suit as he likes to do. And here's a roll it with my character Zip, the Greyhound Whippet. And Zip does not like having cute things on his property. And Rolla is cute, so he does not want Rolla on his property. His territory is a cuteness free zone. Jared Stevens with a swallow. I colored this one in today. I also colored this one in today. I colored the last few together. Not together, today. This is tree bark. And she's a deer person, specifically a doe. And she's very magical. She's got these beautiful pink leaves. She's inspired by a pet from Chicken Smoothie. And she might have more magic abilities aside from the ability to transform into a deer. She's one of the new characters, so I don't really have much about her yet. Malcolm is about to get hit by a Decronaut. Also, Malcolm has a five head in this picture. This is Malcolm McNeil. And that's gonna hurt a lot. The good thing is that Malcolm is a threat, and that's probably true. And then we've got Luca Water, who has found Frazier's missing little sister, Ainsley. But we don't know when or where she is or even what dimension she's in. <laughs> so that's not very helpful. It might not even be the exact one that he's looking for. And it probably isn't. And then we got this one I almost forgot to color today. Zachary and the Birdman. Zachary from Zachary and the Sandhorse. And this is a Birdman. More friendly looking than the last Birdman that I drew. Don't know where they come from, but there it is, another one. Zachary has seen many strange things in his life, so Birdman don't surprise him. Happy Hogan with his ugly shirt, it's supposed to be snowflakes. I like to draw him in ugly shirts just for fun. He's with a purple haired Peter Parker. He's supposed to be babysitting him, well not babysitting him, watching out for him. And he fell asleep on the job, so hopefully Tony and Aunt May do not find out. That is the last picture, actually. So, if you like this video, this whole hour long video, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which picture you like the best or which character. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be a long time till I have another drawn book, by the way. I haven't started it yet because I just finished this one today.